and uh, I'm going to give it a little bit of a pause. The Bugatti Veyron. <laughs> All right. I mean, what a car, what a what a, a technological machine. I mean, what are your thoughts oh. on this on this car? Uh, since since a kid, you know, we always had pictures of the Bugatti. It's not something that you see on your everyday life. It's as Assalamu alaikum. Join me, Suleiman, every Thursday on the parking lot as we talk everything cars. cars. Assalamu alaikum, warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This show is proudly sponsored by Shell Garage Lodia. Assalamu alaikum, warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And welcome to Medina Media where we do a whole host of shows on podcasts and on the radio. But for today's show, it's called The Parking Lot, where we speak everything about cars. And not only am I alone on this show, but I brought somebody with me to make the show much more exciting and much more better. My brother, Dawood Tobela, is with me today. My name is Suleiman, and we're going to be hosting the show for today. Assalamu alaikum, Mr. Suli. Assalamu alaikum to our viewers. Jazakallah uh, for having me on your show. As you know, I also love everything that has to do with cars. Barakal, I'm glad. I'm glad that you're here. So, today I was thinking of going a little bit big, you know, because since this is the first show, yes. I was thinking of going on a little bit big and talking about a car that we all want, mm -hmm. but it's difficult to have or we can't have because. It's ex you need to be extremely wealthy yes, yes, to own yes. that kind of vehicle. Yes. And uh, I'm going to give it a little bit of a pause. The Bugatti Veyron. <laughs> All right. I mean, what a car, what a, what a, a technological machine. I mean, what are your thoughts oh. on, this, on this car? Uh, since, since a kid, you know, we always had pictures of the Bugatti. It's not something that you see on your everyday life. It's something that you see around the elite you know, like your like your sports players, it's, 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 it's always been a car that was framed as an elite car, and I believe it's extremely expensive. It is. It's definitely. It's really, really expensive. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a little bit of the history. Yeah. Uh, the Bugatti Veyron, 16.4, is a mid-engine supercar mm -hmm. designed and developed in France wow. by the Volkswagen Group, and manufactured in France by French automobile manufacturer Bugatti. It was also named after a racing driver called Pierre Veron. Now, you know what? As racing drivers go, I'm not a racing driver, but yes. I wish I could be, but yes. I'm not. But um, the, the whole point of having a brilliant career, and then you have a car named after you. That's, yes. that's like an achievement in itself. Yes, yes, yes. You know what I mean? Yes. It's, it's, it's something that not many of us can achieve. Yes, it's, it's, a, it's a trophy, one of its kind. It's the trophy, yes, yes. I agree with you. It's mm. a one-of-a-kind thing. Um, okay, so look, let's get, in, let's, get into this, let's get into this car on a, on, a, on, a, on a mechanical level. Yes. Everything about this car is mind-blowing. I mean, like, let's start from the beginning. When Volkswagen bought Bugatti, first, they didn't know what to do with it. Yes. They didn't know what they were going to, how they were going to build, what were they going to do, what models did they have. So the owner of Bugatti and Volkswagen sat down and spoke to him and said, listen, let's do something nobody's ever done. Ferrari's never done it, Porsche have never done it, Lamborghini, McLaren, Pagani. Let's build something that is out of this world. Yes. It took at least, if I'm not mistaken, it took at least five or six years to at least get some of the things right of yeah. the things they were testing the mechanics of it all yes yes i mean uh, before okay before that le before we do that let's look at the awards that it's won okay right because of what a brilliant car it is right because okay. that's just a little bit of history oh, yes. the original nice. version of the of the car right is 407 kilometers an hour now that's hours right yes but if you work it out in in, in into miles. the into the uk in miles yes, yes. It's 253 miles an hour. Okay. Already that's, that's insane. That's mind-blowing. That's extremely fast. I mean, that's faster than most vehicles. It's faster than most supercars. It's faster than most of the fastest motorcycles too. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was named 2000 car of the decade mm -hmm. by the BBC program Top Gear. You know Top Gear? Okay, yes, Top Gear. It's a wonderful show. I love yeah. that show. Yeah. 
the standard veteran is also one top gear's best driven all year award in 2005. Okay. Now with these awards has to come a little bit of, uh, how can I say, a little bit of thinking outside the box. Yes, yes, for sure. So they built this car and with all the bells and whistles of it and the, um, the, the, the mechanics of this car, let's Let's yes. try and see well, if what we can. Is this is a V8, V12. No, I'll give, I'll give you, I'll give you some, I'll give you some, some, mm -hmm. some, some stats. Right, the engine is a 8.0 liter turbocharged W16. Mind blowing. That's that's two fused V8 engines mm. together. Yeah. Now I don't know about you. Yes. I'm a big V8 fan. Okay. I like V10s and V12s and V6s. Yeah. And few a little lower. But V8 is my thing. I don't know about you. What's your uh, engine preference? I, I love V8. Uh, I'm more of a smaller engine, like a 3-liter V6. It's more practical. A V8 would be a bit expensive for me to, to, to drive around. But um, but you but you more of the V6, 3-liter yeah, kind of man. V6, yeah. And okay. now you're telling me of uh, two, two, two V8-infused engines. Hey, it's, uh, I mean, mind-blowing. The, 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 um, the mechanics of one V8 engine is already complicated. Yes. Now you put another one together, yes. and you still now got to do testing. Yes, yes, yes. According yes. to the testing, when they did the testing, and they ran the engine, yeah. all the piping of the engine started to turn red. Of course. Because of all the heat. Yes, yes. Two V8 engines, I mean... I mean, it's just... Oh, it's something else. And then you've got... And then it's also, remember something? It's also turbocharged. Okay. And it doesn't have oh, one. Power. It doesn't have two. Mm. It doesn't have three. It has... Four turbochargers. Mind blowing. This this is this this is a rocket. <laughs> what car has four turbochargers? <laughs> really, it's unreal. Of, it's unreal. I mean, first of all, two engines, and now you've got, got four turbochargers. It's unreal. It's something else. It's, it's just story. something else. I mean, so how do you cool? Uh, I mean, like you got four chargers. So does does it not have a overheating problem? I mean, like for two two V eight engine inside and four superchargers. It sounds like a, a furnace. I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad you come. Glad you asked that question mm. because what they did was since they built the engine and the turbochargers, now they've yeah. got they've got now a system, mm -hmm. but now they don't know how to cool that system. Okay. Yes, or yes. how much cooling it's going to need. So yes. Now obviously, as Volkswagen is German, they've yeah. now got to calculate everything. Yes. Yes. So now so what they did was. Eventually, they got to a decision where they've got 10 radiators. Ooh. Again, what car has 10 radiators? So that means right. at least six radiators to cool the engine. Just the engine on its own. Okay. okay, that makes a lot of sense, yes. Three separate radiators to cool different liquids. Okay. So we're talking of oil mm, and um, uh, uh, mm. maybe mm. for a for few other liquids and so yes, on. Yes, yes. And there's just one radiator to cool the liquid that goes into the back of the Veyron. There's a back wing that when you go past a certain speed, yes. the wing rises up. And as soon as you hit the brake, the okay. wing flaps like a plane. Wow. Wow. Okay. And then it uses that for braking as well. Okay. Uh, they say the braking is, it, it's about um, the equivalent of a, uh, of a GTI. Yes. Okay. So you're braking like a GTI, yeah. an extra GTI so braking. Yeah. It makes sense that the extra cooling I understand that. Because that's just, it's unreal. Mm -hmm. it's, it's definitely unreal. Let's look at some other stats, right? Uh, okay, obviously the fuel is petrol. Okay. I'm not sure if it comes in a diesel. Um, I don't think a, a diesel Bugatti would be practical, but um, in times like these with our current uh, fuel situation, <laughs> uh, the price of petrol, I think we might need a diesel Bugatti. They'll probably make a diesel, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure I think we need one. Or better yet, even they'll go one better and they'll try and even make an electric Maybe, one. Maybe, yes, yes. Which Bugatti sure. hasn't done yet, yes. but I'm sure they're thinking about mm -hmm. it. Um, okay, so then, and then the power that that engine produces. Yes. Okay, already when it was released in 2000, the power was already insane mm -hmm. because no Ferrari, no Lambo, no Pagani, no McLaren, mm -hmm. none of those cars could match that power. From the year 2000, for sure. 1,001 brake horsepower. Oh. I mean, my mind is boggled by it. Mm. 1,001 brake horsepower. That means the torque, okay, let me just check here, the torque is 1,250 newton meters of torque. 
Because you could power a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Maybe a small, yeah, a yeah. very small spaceship. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I agree yeah. with you. My friend, my friend likes to refer to the Bugatti as a, a rocket with a couch in it. <laughs> yes, I agree. Might as well get a comfort. plasma while you're at it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. So capacity-wise, it's obviously a sports car, so it takes only two seats. Mm -hmm. But when we're talking about two seats, we're talking about comfortable. Yes. We're talking Rolls Royce kind of comfortable here, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. because. You've got also an uh, an automatic okay. gearbox, yes. but it can also be uh, changed into a manual. Okay, for, so you have for your sporty times. For your sporty <laughs> times, yeah. Yes. So what you have is you have the steering, and then you have the gear, yes, right? Yes. Okay. And then behind the steering, you have flapping oh, paddles. Yeah, 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 yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now the interesting part about that that I've come to find out is that the Bugatti has what we call a double clutch gearbox. All right. Now, a double clutch gearbox, especially when you're in manual and you're selecting gears. Okay. The gearbox, in a normal car, you when you select a gear, you're obviously doing it with your hand. Yes, yes. And then it, the gears change as you go. Yes, yes, yes. Now, double clutch gearboxes works differently. Okay. A double clutch gearbox, when you change gear, say, for example, if now I change into second gear. Yeah. As I change into second gear, the double clutch has already selected third gear. Okay. And is already looking for the fourth gear. Wow. So, when you change... You don't feel the the yeah, change the, the in the leg. Yes, yes, yes. When yes, you change, yes. it's just constant all so, the time. So it's basically you, your driving skill mixed with the computer box of the car. So it's like a fusion of your skill and the car already does the balance for you. Exactly. Oh, it's already selects the gears for you. Extremely. So you can keep on going and yeah. not have the, shall we say, inconvenience yes. of the lag as the you lag, change yes, gears. Because yes. when we change, you feel that yes. all yeah. the time. Mm -hmm. But in that, mm -hmm. you don't. You don't even feel it. You don't it. feel it, yeah. And it's, 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 a, it's a rapid flow of, of speed and, and torque coming in. Exactly, yes, yes okay. yeah. So, so that, I mean, that's already in itself a double clutch gearbox. The mechanics of that specifically yes. mm. is brilliant. Mm. Because I mean, are, this is from the year 2000. Already from the year 2000, oh, they started oh, oh. doing double so clutch they, gearboxes. So they knew what they were doing, yeah. So they, they knew exactly what they were doing. Okay. And when they said they're going to make a car, look at all what they've achieved so far. A super car. Uh, oh. Boot space. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about boot space. 37 liters. Okay. That's not a lot. Um, yeah. But it's a sports car. You're not going to take it out on holiday. You're gonna, gonna, on holiday. You know, you're going to go mm -hmm. and drive it. Yeah. So it's not, you don't necessarily need the boot space, okay. to be honest, really. Mm -hmm. Well, in my opinion, I don't know about you, but... Maybe it's just a, 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 a gesture of kindness from the Bugatti company, I don't know. To say, also, maybe you can you fit your need, umbrella. Yeah, you don't need a boot, I mean, uh, <laughs> in, in a super sports car, but... Maybe, maybe you can fit your umbrella, your umbrella, umbrella yeah. or your yeah. golf clubs, okay. you know, in a way. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, okay, tank capacity, okay. okay, fuel tank capacity. The... It's 100 liters. Mm. Okay, now, if you do the math, according to the maths, 100 liters of fuel, if you max a Bugatti Veyron, 100 liters of fuel gets empty in 12 minutes. Phew. So just after maxing, yeah. if you keep going, going yeah. 12 minutes, your oh, tank will oh, be empty. Oh, oh, oh. That is a lot. It's sucking four tons of air mm. Mm. an hour. Of, when, of driving. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you, when you're flying and you're hitting those, those high gears, yeah. and now you've got to, 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 to um, how can I say, the, 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 I mean, the petrol, the engine is drinking petrol. Yes. Like at a constantly, rapid rate, yeah, I mean, constantly. Yeah, two, two V8 engines run rapidly, I mean. Already one V8 drinks like a sailor. Yeah. Now you've got they, two they of them. Two of those. Mm. And you've got turbochargers as well. As well. Oh, it's crazy, it's crazy. So the fuel consumption it's is a bit of an issue. It is, it is, it is. <laughs> but the numbers of it is brilliant. Okay. I've got yeah. it from a technological point of yes, view. Yes. The numbers are brilliant. Okay. Um, okay, and then 0 to 100 in 2.7 seconds. Mm. Mm. That's mind I mean, blowing. Just, just sit in your car, mm. okay, and try to go from 0 to 100 and time it. Yeah. Obviously, it's going to take longer than that. Yes, yes, yes. But in two seconds, you're already hitting 100 kilometers. Whew. It's just, I mean... Like I said, it's a rocket to the couch. In like you said, yeah, exactly. It's a rocket yeah, to the yeah. couch. In it. Yeah. It's mm. just, it's, it's mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. I mean, just the, uh, another thing is the tires. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
uh, they did, um, they went to Michelin. Right. You know Michelin? Yes, you know, yes, we, the, we, the, the we call him the fake old Ross man. Yes, yes, right? yes. Sure. <laughs> yes. Um, they went to them and said, listen, we're developing this car. Yeah. It's got this power, it's got this. We need tires that can okay. handle all this. This, this. this is a W12 engine. Yes, definitely. I mean, I don't think your standard tires will manage on a W12 uh, engine. So they had to do research okay. to, 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 to build or design a kind of tire that will uh, um, take the pressure of that kind oh, of okay. speed. Yes, yes, yes. So they did it. And again, num mind-blowing numbers. Mm -hmm. If the engine, if you're driving the car and the engine is pushing out the fuel, and in 12 minutes the fuel is done. Yeah. But for some odd reason, you still keep going. Yeah. Eventually, it's going to get to a point where in 15 minutes, mm -hmm. the tires b blow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Because they can't handle that pressure. Yeah, that constant talking pressure. Yes, yes. It so makes, eventually, yeah, they're going to give out more. somehow. Okay. So are these like uh, especially, these tires are they especially designed for Bugattis only? They're especially designed ah. for Bugatti. Mm -hmm. And the price, mm -hmm. again, mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this car's just come with mind-blowing numbers. Mm -hmm. Okay. The price. Let me guess. Will it be like um, since it's so bad, would will it be like thirty thousand rands or fifty thousand rands? No, 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 no. In pounds, mm -hmm. it's twenty thousand pounds a set. Okay. Okay. If you work from the, at that time, the the the, the UK dollar, uh, the UK pound was probably about sixteen or seventeen. Mm -hmm. If you work it out then mm -hmm. to now, it's three hundred and forty thousand rand. For two tires. No ways, no ways. Are you serious? Two tires. That's crazy, man. That's crazy numbers. Four tires, uh. 680,000 rand. Damn. For just four tires. I could buy a Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy lots of cars with yeah. that money. Wow. That's why I say it's uh. it's a car that we want. Yeah. But we it's impractical to have because of the numbers. But we want it also <laughs> because of the numbers. Because of the numbers. Because of those extra... Yeah. Okay. Wow. Now look. Now we come to. Now we come to comfort. Yeah. Okay. You can have it with leather seats, mm -hmm. power steering, mm -hmm. uh, electric windows, anti-lock braking systems, air conditioning. Serious. Airbags, automatic climate control, mm -hmm. alloy wheels, multifunctional wow. steering wheel. Wow. So you've got all the, shall we say, Rolls Royce luxuries. Yes. Yes. In something that goes like. A rocket, it's like you said. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Interesting. I mean, so it's the best of both worlds. It's the best of both okay. worlds. And the mm. price also as well is okay. all the way up there. Mm -hmm. wow. So, now that we've got, now that we've like established what car brought about this this new breed of super and hyper cars, because yeah. that's what, that's actually what the Veyron is. Yeah. It's a beginning. Yeah, for, 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 new <laughs> for a new era. For a new era, for something for, for more. Motoring, yeah. Okay, yeah. let's go, let's see if we can, we can, we can try and better it. Okay, the latest model now. Oh no, wait, before that, just before I forget, the story of Veyron, when they built the car and they yeah. maxed it, yeah. and they published the, the, the numbers, uh -huh. A company in America called Hennessy. Okay. They looked at those numbers and like, but we can also build something faster than that. Yeah. What is so it? A motoring company too? Also a motoring company okay. as well. But they're a little bit of a smaller motoring company. Okay. Okay. So they built something called the the Venom Hennessy. Okay. And it maxed and it went over the, the speed of the Veyron. Okay. And Bugatti heard about this car, ah, and uh -huh. they they saw the numbers and everything. Yeah. So they're like, okay, these guys now want to play. Yeah, they want to show that they're boss. Uh -huh. So what they did was they took the same Veyron, they upped the power a little bit more to a Golf a Golf GTI as yeah, well. Yeah, and then they tested it, and that's it's called a Bugatti Veyron Sport. Oh, that's crazy, man! It comes in a, I think it only comes in one color. Okay, which is black and orange. Okay. Because that's the one that they tested oh, okay. on, yes, yes, on, on top here. Yeah. Okay. And then they tested it and then it blitzed the Hennessy's record. Mm, 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 mm. So there's like a rivalry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, uh, upgrading from the original uh, Veyron, which is already crazy, 
now to to to, to a sport. <laughs> I've been it's empowered. Else. I mean, it's, it's, it's something else. It's just yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just the again numbers keep rolling up. Mm -hmm. If you know what I mean. Yeah. So that's that's the one. That's the, the the story that I wanted to tell okay. you. That so there's like that now that rivalry now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now. Bugatti have a new one, a new car out okay. now. Is it to make sure there's no more rivals? <laughs> I would assume so, <laughs> yes. Like, oh. I would assume so. So, the new model is called Bugatti Chiron. Okay. Bugatti Chiron. I think that's how you say it. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's how you say it. Bugatti Chiron. Um, that's how you drive it. That's how you say it. <laughs> I suppose. Also, mind-blowing numbers okay. of, of, of the car. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of history as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the car named after a driver called Louis Chiron. Okay. And the car shares the name with the 1999 Bugatti 18-3 Chiron concept car. So okay. it actually comes from a little bit of the history as well. Oh, from the Bugatti history, yeah. You know, most all car companies have a little bit of history from somewhere. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So that's, 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 that's the, the, the history part mm. of it, right? So if Bugatti keeps on naming um, the cars after races, I mean, so it means that uh, speed is, is 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 a big thing. Here, it right? is, a, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. It's like the mm -hmm. the um, uh, the 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 go-to thing. The goal, yeah. yeah. The go-to yeah. thing. I mean, why not name it after a good racing driver? Yeah. It's yeah. like now if Ferrari have to come out with something called the Ferrari Schumacher, for yeah, example, yeah, yeah, yeah. which. I don't mind buying because mm -hmm. I was a big Schumacher fan yeah, yeah. when I was younger. When and you know what to expect. Also. Formula One. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And you mm -hmm. know what to expect as well. Yeah. So, okay. So now the Chiron now is, um, obviously they're up the power. Mm -hmm. And then what they've done is they've removed that, that braking wing. Okay. Okay. And now, and they built the car a bit longer now. So right. the car's a bit longer. Yeah. And at the back it has what you call a rear diffuser. Okay. At the bottom. Yeah. And the exhaust pipes are, can't be set it's got four exhaust pipes so it can't be set again next to one another okay it's got to be set horizontally from one another okay so it's up and down yeah it can't be next to one another okay. so they put it up and down yeah also to work with the rear diffuser so it uh it defeats the level of drag oh okay so you okay. can it can go further the air can yeah, pass yeah, through yeah, it yeah, yeah. Better better. aerodynamics yeah aerodynamics mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. okay so uh, up the power and uh, it's got a, also another, again, automatic double clutch gearbox. Okay. But now the clutch itself, uh -huh. according to the manufacturer, is the biggest clutch ever fitted mm. on a production car. Wow. 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 I mean, how big must that clutch be mm -hmm. for it to be fitted? And then Ferrari doesn't have one. Yeah. Lamborghini doesn't uh -huh. have one. Uh, McLaren doesn't mm -hmm. have one. Mm -hmm. Pagani doesn't mm -hmm. have one. Mm -hmm. I mentioned those cars specifically yeah. because... They are. They're the main streamlined cars. That yeah, they're the main supercars yeah. that we, mm -hmm. you know, that we're mm -hmm. discussing. Mm -hmm. So, okay, and then the Chiron accelerates. Mm. Okay, from what was the last one? Two point seven. Two point seven. Yes, two point seven. This is now two point four. Wow! 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 So wow. from seven six five four. So yeah. that's only four uh, milliseconds quicker. Milliseconds, yeah. But I'm sure when you're driving the car. Yeah. Plus, yeah. I mean, uh, over the years, I'm sure the technology is much better. Uh, your cooling system is better. So I'm sure you will get more out of it uh, than that. I mean, I'm sure you can get more out of it. I'm sure you can. I'm yeah. sure, I'm, because, I mean, if the power is up and, um, you know, the, 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 like you said, the technology is yeah. better, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you'll be able to maybe mm -hmm. get more of it. But that's yeah. the numbers according to the manufacturer. manufacturer. Ah. So, not according to us drivers. Not according so to us drivers. Know, so, us <laughs> I mean, if you took it out, it would be yeah, maybe yeah. a different story. Yeah, 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 because yeah, obviously, yeah. I'm a bigger guy because yeah. weight counts. Mm -hmm. okay. Sure, for sure. Weight counts mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. must remember something, they also build these cars with luxury. Yeah. So... An air conditioning unit mm -hmm. for the car yeah. adds weight. Mm -hmm. Airbags mm -hmm. adds weight. Mm -hmm. Radio and CD player yeah. or USB player, whatever Everything, you want to call it, yes. it adds weight. Uh -huh. But now you're lighter than me, so mm -hmm. if we have both have to have the same car, mm -hmm. we'll get different numbers. So we got to take two seconds off the 2.4 seconds. Probably, yeah, if it was you. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, and then when the Veyron came out, the original car, yeah, was set. The price was set at about one million pounds for that okay. car. Okay. okay, now the Chiron now mm -hmm. cost three million pounds. Sure. Now, if I take, if I work that out, okay. Yeah. 
uh, three million pounds. So that's three million pounds times that by what was the UK uh, pound? Around sixteen, sixteen. Say, so let's work it out. Or say thirty, thirty. No, no. Say, say. I think it's 17 or 18. So okay. let's work it out on 17. Mm -hmm. So we times that by 17. That's 51 million rand. Sure, 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 sure. So this clearly shows this guy is not for everybody uh, to own. Uh, I don't know. For me, I, I'd probably rent this. I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> yeah, Unless the money was available. Unless <laughs> the money was available. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, let's, let's, they've clearly made this card to set a standard. Yeah. Footballers, mm -hmm. they've got the money they'd buy them. Yeah, very rich billionaires mm -hmm. and millionaires would buy them. Buy them yes. uh, uh, musicians yeah. would buy them. Your TV stars, yeah, actors, actors. celebrities, movie stars yeah. would buy them. Mm -hmm. But like we say, it's the car that we want, mm -hmm. but we can't have because it's not practical. It's not practical. It's, it's not the car you need. <laughs> it's not the car that you need, but yeah. it's a car that you want. Mm -hmm. And um, okay, now the big question, big big question. What would you have? Would you have a Chiron, mm -hmm. a Bugatti Veyron Sport, or the original Bugatti Veyron itself? Mm. Well, you know, I respect the old motoring traditions. I love, I love the old school cars. You know, your 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 muscle cars, your old school Fords. But at the same time, I'm also a fan of technology because I think with technology, motoring gets better. Cars move quicker, cars become lighter, you know what I'm saying? Uh, cars become more economically advanced, you know? So I think for me, since I'm a tech guy, I, I go with the Sharon since it's the latest. I mean, they must have thrown everything inside there. So you'll go, you'll go, with, you'll go with the Sharon? I'll go with the latest, I swear. Okay, but now that's, you see, that's where we differ now. Uh -huh. I like the Sharon. It looks very nice. It looks very sporty. and uh -huh. But I'd have the original, the Veyron. Okay. Why? Because... It signifies the beginning. The beginning, wow, of course. So, yes, yes, years yes. from now, when people ask, you know, what did you, if, if I had the money, obviously, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and people ask me, no, what did your grandfather drive? No, my mm -hmm. grandfather drove the beginning yeah. of a new era. Yeah. The masterpiece, the blueprint. Yeah, the blueprint yes. for something yeah. top class. Yeah. I mean, look, there's obviously other cars now that are... Um, being developed, yes. Like there's something. Uh, there's a full electric car. It's called the Rimac. Okay. It does two thousand brake horsepower, mm -hmm. but it's only electronic. Mm -hmm. There's no engine part, so it's yeah. one gear uh, all the way. All the way. So now, I think that electric cars are needed, mm -hmm. but that's another. That's going to be another topic. For another show, yes, yes, because yes, I'm yes, going yes, to yes. be elaborating on that. How maybe if you want an electric car, it's fine, but mm -hmm. don't forget where we've come from. Yes, yes. I mean, why take away the whole pleasure of driving, yes. the whole pleasure of motoring, engineering? You know, like sometimes when you drive uh, a sports car, the whole aim is to hear the engine, to to feel it. I don't to know. To feel about exactly. About yes. Cars. When you when you drive, uh -huh. you want to feel that. Exhilarating yeah, feeling yeah, of yeah, driving. Yeah. You want to hear the car going to okay. those gears. Mm -hmm. That's what we've been brought mm -hmm. up with. Mm -hmm. But it's so something to look into. It I is, mean, it mm -hmm. is, definitely. It is, mm -hmm. it is. So, Brother Daud, Jazakala for coming on the show. Jazakala for having me on your show. I had my, uh, a very good time here on the parking lot. And Jazakala for enlightening me on the, the, the Bugatti Veyron. I'm, 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 glad, I'm glad I did this with you because. You and I are, you know, we usually have car conversations, uh -huh, uh -huh. but this was one I wanted to have yeah. on the show because yes, yes, I'm yes. sure there are people out there that will want to know. Yes, 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 yes. Especially about the Bugatti because it's, it's always been a car that, like I said, we see it on maybe book covers, on your magazine covers, but it's we never looked, the yes, we never ever, ever looked into it. I mean, we never ever de developed a relationship with the Bugatti and I think because of you today, I have a relationship with this Bugatti. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, shukran. Mm -hmm. Right, everybody. Jazakala for watching us today. And um, I hope that, inshallah, the next show, don't forget it's next week, Thursday, inshallah. inshallah. And um, we'll be maybe talking about something, you know, as exhilarating as this. So, next time on the parking lot, Jazakala khaira, assalamu alaikum, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This show is proudly sponsored by Shell Garage Lodium.